Welcome! Today's workout is a one dumbbell total body strength workout. So, you're gonna need a dumbbell. I want you to grab a light to moderate dumbbell, tie up those runners, and let's go get busy. Hello there! Hey, welcome! I'm PJ from fitnesswithpj.com and my buddy Anna and I are in the house to give you a total body strength workout using one dumbbell. So this is fantastic if you literally just own one dumbbell. Now you have no excuses. Now, my friend Anna, she's gonna be showing the modified versions of the move and pacing herself at more of a lower intensity because that's where she wants to work at today. So if that's where you wanna work, you'll follow Anna. All right, let's start to get warmed up here, Anna. Feet apart, give me some big arm circles. Oh yeah, woo! I worked out yesterday. <laughs> This isn't good. I can feel the muscles already. Are you hurting already? I'm hurting already. Shit. <laughs> Last three, two, one. All right, now some big circles here working into the hip joint. Now a couple things, okay, I want you to remember for today. Go at your pace. If that means marching on the spot, then that's where you're at, all right? I want you to find what pushes your envelope and then follow along or come back to us when you can. The only thing I want you to commit to is this full workout. Deal? Deal from me. There you go. She has no choice. I locked the door. <laughs> One more. <laughs> and another side. Here we go. <laughs> nice and big. So I hope you're having a good day at home. We here in the West Coast are blessed with a sunny day, which is a very nice. rare event in November. Last three. Two. One, all right, single leg kicks. Let's start with the left, you go up, kicking up. Oh yeah, feel those hamstrings. We're gonna be working those through the workout, so we wanna get them nice and warmed up. Four more, we'll do the other side. Three, two, one, other side. Here we go, kick it up. Last two. And release, here we go. Take that left knee up, find your balance. Yeah, good, now step back into a lunge. Good, now drive the knee up again. Now if you find that you just have a really hard time with balance, and by all means, you can drop that toe in between. But what do we lose with life, or as we get old, older, <laughs> believe me, I'm with you, is we lose our ability to balance. So my warm ups are always designed in a way to help work on that balance, because Balance is just like any other muscle on the body. We can retrain it. The only thing I can't teach you how to retrain is your husband. <laughs> <laughs> You're on your own there. Uh, what about your puppy? Or your puppy, last one, and release. I have a new dog and yeah. He's super cute and super active. Well, he was posting really nicely on your Yes, if you head to Instagram, Fitness with PJ to see him. He is quite the poser. He's got the best eyes. <laughs> Last two. One more. Beautiful. Final warm up drill. Anna and I are going to face this way. Soften the knees. Walk yourself into a high plank. Breathe. Bend your knees. Walk yourself back. Perfect. Two more. Bend the knees. Walk out, wrist under shoulders, long plank, walk back. Last two. Total body warm up here, and I also get your core involved because we are gonna be hitting that core, especially when you work with one dumbbell. We've got the obliques really fired up. And release. Okay, grab a quick sip of water because we are gonna get busy with that workout. Okay, so here's the scoop. We have 10 moves and they're all in grouping. So we have three groups of moves that we'll, we will alternate. Now, three rounds, 40 seconds are on the clock. We get a 15 second break in between. However, with that said, like I said in the intro, if you find you need to take a break, I want you to march it on the spot and then connect with us as soon as you are recovered, okay? Okay. All right, our first move, I'll quickly show it so that it's got a little bit of teaching, a little bit of cueing here, and then we're gonna flow right into it. It's a single arm snatch. So start with your dumbbell down. Now we wanna keep the chest lifted, dumbbells in front of, or just sort of in front of your right foot. From here we pull up and snack it, snatch it up, and then down. So, up. Now Anna's gonna be taking it slower. She also may get to a point too where she may wanna do every second one with no weight. 
if she finds her heart rate's getting too high or if it's just getting too fatiguing for the shoulder, and you can do the same. Now we'll stay with that arm for our next move where we'll take that left leg back for a stationary lunge, down and up. Now real quick here, for those of you with sensitive knees, if lunges don't work for you, you're gonna take that left leg, cross it over the right, and give me a single leg bridge. All right, if you've been with me for a while, you know that that single leg bridge is my sub for any lunge pattern that bothers knees. I'm also gonna link up a video down below on the most common um, muscles that are weak on people that cause knee pain, so you can check that out after. And then we'll do the other side, and yeah. Oh, well, three rounds. We'll get it. No problem. All right, you ready at home? Well, I sure as I hope so. We're going. Here we go. Ready, set, left arm, take it down, up. Again, you choose which speed you want. Just keep that form crisp. Your head is up. Your chest is lifted. You're looking at me, okay? Or Anna. <laughs> And we are bending through the knees, hinging through the hips, so that we are not rounding that back. Woo! Are we tucking the tummy in? Always tucking that. Not really necessarily tucking, it's drawing the belly button in. My best cue is to pretend somebody was gonna sucker punch you and you're bracing for that impact. It's gonna fire up those abs, get those deep core muscles. Woo! Ready, this brings the heart rate up. Time! Now keep this arm. Left leg back. Well, of course, keep this arm. I don't know what you would do with it otherwise. <laughs> Other hand on the hip. Find your balance. Now you can head down to bridge if lunges bother your knees, remember. Now take it down low, drive up, straighten both legs. Front knee lines up with that ankle. Chest is lifted. Love it. If you're getting too tired, what can you do with this to bring it down in intensity? Get rid of the dumbbell. Body weight only, baby cakes. Now, right now, you have a ton of core working without you even knowing. When we hold on to a weight in one hand with the other hand offset, we're firing up that side oblique to keep ourselves upright. You're welcome. And balance again. <laughs> yes, working balance again. So when the timer goes, right arm, the series flows through there. Time, all right. Wide stance squat, toes are turned out. So when I say wide stance, we want the heels about shoulder width or just a bit wider, but not, but right there. Now bend the knees, chest up, head up, drive that dumbbell up, press. You choose what speed you want. So I think, speaking of training husbands, I think I've actually trained mine on the second step when it comes to washing clothes, right? Because there's the washer, the dryer, the folding. I think I've got him onto the dryer part now. What, he was washing and not drying? <laughs> yes, yeah, so he would just leave it in the washer. And then he gets all musty and you have to rewash. No, then I would do it. <laughs> He's like, I did laundry. No, you didn't. You put it in the washer, babe. <laughs> Die. Now keep the dumbbell in that hand. You can share below too if you've got any funny husband or significant other stories. Find that balance. Again, zip up through that front of the body and drop down in that squat or other leg bridge. I joke, but actually he's a really good guy. <laughs> he does a I, lot around the house. <laughs> I complained years ago because my husband wanted me to iron. To iron, yeah. But he criticized my ironing. <laughs> And that was years ago, so I decided never to iron again. Yeah. So he took over the responsibility. With Perfect. His, with his hands. Oh. When they're perfectly warm. That works, actually. It works really good. Yeah, because I will shake clothes out and then hang them real quick. Exactly. Yeah. That's, that's the trick. Yeah. I just don't buy clothes that need ironing, too. I look at the label all the time. Well, I don't need high maintenance. Okay, so that was round one. Round two, go back to that left arm, okay? Single arm snatch at your pace. You can also go every second one with no dumbbell. Ready, chest up, head up, go. Mind you, three quarters of my clothes are dry fit, so I gotta hang them to dry anyways. Or they're black, and I don't like to put black in the dryer because they fade. So really, it's his clothes <laughs> that need to it's be dried. Shirts. I find it's shirts or pants. Yeah. A 
lunging coming up. Woo! 40 seconds really. Time, 40 seconds does get long. Yeah. All right, left leg back. Set up for that lunge or you're down in your bridge if you want to modify it for the knees. Ready, set, and down. This one's good for the butt too, right? That's this lunge is awesome for the butt, outer hip, hamstrings, quads, balance, core. That's why trainers always give you a lunge <laughs> or a squat. We love squats too. There's a big difference between the first round and the second round. Yeah, just wait till the third. You're going to love it, babe. <laughs> Burning is starting to be felt. <laughs> Time. Okay. Right arm. Feet shoulder width apart. Slight turn out of the toes. Nothing too extreme though. All right. Chest up, head up. Ready, set, down, and snatch it up. Woo! Keep those abs engaged. Keep that head up, please. value in doing things three times. There's a lot of value in doing things multiple, especially for those of you that have been exercising for a while. You're going to hit a plateau. At the beginning, one set, man, you're going to see gains quick. And then we plateau. That's why multiple sets, you keep pushing the envelope, getting stronger. Well, that combined with longer time. Time, yeah. <sighs> All right, we got a lunge now. Right leg back or you're in that bridge pattern. Shoulders back and down. I can't emphasize that enough. Keep yourself lifted. Ready? Go. Down. So you want that back shoulder and back hip in one line. Then that front knee and front ankle in one line. And there is one good looking lunge pattern. That cue was really good, PJ. You like that one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I really like that one. But I hadn't visualized that part of the shoulder with a hip. And that keeps you upright. Yeah. And your stomach in somehow. Miraculous. <laughs> We're all going to stand around like this. <laughs> My abs look so good. We're well, supposed to be hitting uh, headlights up, aren't we? Yeah, headlights up. <laughs> Dive. All right, last set. Here we go. Left hand. Feet shoulder width apart. Snatching above the head. Remember, every second rep, you can go without the dumbbell. Ready, set, go. Dropping it. <laughs> I'm dropping it. <laughs> every other one. Speaking of headlights, I'm due for a mammogram. Ooh, me too. <laughs> I got the card. Yeah, yeah, I got the card too. I feel sorry for the technician. I said, how do you feel about squeezing boobs all day? She laughed. It's <laughs> just not squeezing, it's position. They're squeezing. They're squeezed, they're squeezed. Well, true, she's positioning. The machine is squeezing. I feel like clay. <laughs> they're molding it. Done. Here we go, left leg back. But don't let that at home stop you from getting um, mammograms, OK? If we catch breast cancer early, Chances are a lot better to keep those boobs. Ready and down. Straighten the front leg. So you're making your appointment this week? I, next week. I phoned and was put on hold, and then my puppy was getting in mischief, so I had to hang up. So after we're done this, I'll phone and make the appointment. Well, you're better than me. I've had it for a month. <laughs> <laughs> I'll follow your lead. OK, good. Every woman's gonna be making a mammogram after this workout. <laughs> I don't really mind them. Well, you're not short. <laughs> the machine adjusts down, doesn't it? Not or do they have to adjust you up? I'm on my tiptoes. <laughs> not fun. Get you you're so holding blocked. your breath, getting squeezed, tippy toe, <laughs> gets really up. We need to get you a soapbox. Yeah, I do. <laughs> okay, right arm, here we go. Ready and down. You know this channel is dedicated for women, when. <laughs> yeah, and if you are the odd man that has, come on, 
I'm sorry. There's a woman in their life for sure. There is. Mother, sister. There is Mother. some woman in your life. Yeah. But make sure she gets a mammogram. Just don't be weird about it. <laughs> well, it's Mo Month, right? We talked about our men. True, it is Mo Month. You know, my husband's doctor told him he doesn't need a prostate exam until 60. I don't believe in that. Really? Yes. Or Larry's pulling my leg. <laughs> Maybe he heard 60. <laughs> he heard 60 somewhere and just ran with it. And time, yeah. Because I thought it was 55 for prostate. All right, last set of lunge. If you're a doctor doing this workout, let me know below. It's my husband bullshitting me. <laughs> Ready and go. <laughs> I'd love to know. I don't know. My, my, my husband has had a check, actually. I have no clue. I haven't asked that question. You gotta ask that question. Yeah. My dad died of colon cancer, a completely preventable cancer if caught early. He didn't. As men his age and that era did, they didn't go to the doctor, and he ended up dying from it. Oh, that's too bad. Yeah, so I'm really on Larry. But you can only be on them for so much, because they just tune you out, right? Exactly. <laughs> so. The I, nagging syndrome. Yeah, yeah, time. Okay, grab a quick sip of water. We're moving on to the next series of moves. So we have three moves here. Work an individual arm, and then we'll use the dumbbell to work both the legs at the same time. I'm gonna demo the move again, and then away we go. The first move is what I call a check press, and if you've done my workouts before, you're familiar with this. We usually use two dumbbells. This is a fantastic exercise for women especially to target some weak areas in our upper back, um, shoulders, and the triceps. So we start with the palm facing. Pretend you have two arms there. All right, I've got tight shoulders, so this is as close as I can get. My arms parallel to the floor, wrist is straight, lined up with the elbow, then I open, press, and back to center, okay? Then we'll do the other arm, and then feet wide, toes turned out, hold on to that dumbbell. We're starting with a deadlift, so it's a hip hinge with slight bend of the knee, and then a deep squat. All right, so I'll go this side just so you can see the hip hinge. The hinge is through the hip, squeeze the booty, and then I squat. So the hinge isn't through that upper back. Again, if you've been with my workouts, I've coached you and cued you so that you are perfect on this move. Okay, so same thing as the last, three rounds, 40 seconds. Let's start with the left arm, get the upper arm parallel to the floor, palm facing, other hand on the hip, keep those abs engaged, open, press, down, close. So, now that you've got the move, I want you to do a couple things to clean up the form. Number one, keep your hips and shoulders pointed towards me. So you're not rotating with that dumbbell. That's common, so just self-correct that. Second, is the wrist straight? We're not breaking it? Perfect. Third, are you breathing? <laughs> Woo, see what I mean? Super powerful move for our posture muscles. Uh, slight bend on the knee? Yeah, always slight bend. Just keep those, those um, okay. what we call an athletic stance. Slight bend of the knee, abs tight. All right, so get that upper arm par parallel to the floor, okay? Wrist straight, hand facing the center of the body. Now open, press, bring her down. Perfect, we're not rotating with the arm. The rest of your body stays forward while the arm does the rotating. So a lot of core here as well. No compensating from the strong arm, huh? No help from the strong arm. That's why I love dumbbell training. You may have noticed at home you had one side a little easier to do. Dumbbells don't let you get away with that. You got to work each side independently. Or you wobble. Or you wobble. Deadlift to squat coming up. Time. All right, Anna and I are going to face each other. We're holding the dumbbells here. Feet turned out. Ready? Soften the knees. Give me that deadlift. Dumbbells hit the ground if you can. Now give me that squat. Chest lifted. Perfect. Here we go. Deadlift. Now once you've seen us at home, I want you to take a look straight ahead and then keep your eyes on that even when you come down on the deadlift. 
So we're not looking down or through the legs or anything funny like that. Deadlifts working predominantly, hamstrings and glutes, squat, same muscle groups, but then we get the quads involved as well. So this is a really nice move if you've got any knee pain or areas that you need to strengthen so that you stay away from knee pain. Like the control in this one. Yeah, you've got to go slow because it's two separate moves. You've got to kind of think about where those knees are. Dive. Okay, round two. Go back to that left arm. So zip up those abs. Get that arm up. Wrist is straight. Good. Other hand on the hip to keep that hip quiet and open. Press and down. Do you find one side wobbles more than the other side? Yeah, so that's your dominant side. Right? Because when you think about it in life, you probably always use one side of the body more than the other before you even know it. You step up on a curb with one leg more than you do the other. That's true. Now I'm left handed, but this is not my dominant arm. My dominant arm is a right. Woo! Die! Woo! I'm starting to question my sanity on grabbing a 10 pound dumbbell. I'm happy with the five. <laughs> Trade you. <laughs> Give you 10 bucks. <laughs> All right, other arm. Here we go. Upper arm, get it parallel. Now open, press, down, close. I guess as you get tired, you want to go with your body more, right? As you get tired, yeah, you're going to lose your form. So if that happens at home, maybe get rid of the dumbbell, do a couple reps without, recover a little bit, not too much, and then join us. But we want to keep that form crisp with those last couple of reps being really challenging time, like those two. Yes. All right, dumbbell here. Toes are slightly turned out, so feet are wider than your hips. So let's start with the deadlift, okay? So deadlift. Good, and then squat. I'm gonna bring the dumbbell up so I can drop deeper into my squat. So you can flow through that if you'd like, or keep that dumbbell down and keep that squat pattern a little lower. Oh, PJ, I'm already feeling my legs. <laughs> I'm not gonna Just like wait till you. tomorrow. Oh, I'm not gonna like you. <laughs> but I like you at the same time. Yeah. Mixed feelings. I always say a good personal trainer has no friends. <laughs> Unless you're cheating the whole time. <laughs> yeah. A good personal trainer also can't count. <laughs> Die. All right, here we go. Last run, and then we can grab some water. So let's get set up. Now, with this one, if you find, as Anna said, you're starting to go with your body, meaning you're starting to shift, stagger your stance. All right? Kind of create a tripod with the legs and then that may help you keep those hips forward. This is also a nice stance if you have tight shoulders. For instance, my left is very tight. I like the control of this workout. You know, like very slow controlled, yeah. so. Sometimes you think fast is better, but sometimes slow is, yeah. you know, hard. I find in most people that I train, I've got to slow them down. And once I slow them down, they feel it. Woo! Oh, I'm glad we're not doing four sets of these. Woo, dime! Woo! Is this the last one? I'm yes. Like, yay. yay, is right. We'll grab water after these two moves. Okay, right arm. Get them up there. Try to get as close to the center and midline of your body as you can, and then open and press. The other thing that I find that when I get tired, my shoulders want to start getting closer to my ears. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tired and stressed. <laughs> you know what I need? A good massage. I haven't had one in months. That's a thing. I mean the appointment. Yes, I know. <laughs> First the mammogram. <laughs> we have too many appointments to make. Especially 
the one with this video. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so zip up, hip hinge, go. Oh. Woo -wee. Oh. oh, we went before the timer even started, Anna. Oh. We are amazing. Way to go at home. Oh. I won't charge you for those two reps. We step back into the reverse lunge and find the balance and do it again. Now, with this being said, okay, as I said in that first round of the groupings where we were doing lunges, and if you had sensitive knees to do the single leg bridge, I don't want you to do the single leg bridge. Instead, I want you to lie down on your side, take that left hip, point it forward, and lead with that left heel and give me side leg raises. So this will be your lunge with arm up, okay? So we're targeting your outer hip muscle. And again, I encourage you, if you have sensitive knees, to watch the video that I'm gonna put in the um, description down below. Okay, and then we got another exercise. I'll show you when we get there. So, left arm up or down, your choice. Left knee up or down, your choice. And lunge. Good job. Now, if you're joining me with the knee up, challenging the balance, I really want you to focus your stare on something stationary to help yourself out. Keep that shoulder away from the ear lobe as best you can. Elbow is locked out, so no bend. Core is on fire right now. You might not feel it, but trust me. If we were to put electrodes on your abs right now, you would be through the roof. You would be in the red. Stepping back, back knee coming down to your floor, front knee lined up with the ankle, and then we've got that back shoulder and back hip all in one line. Time. All right, other side. So if you're doing the side leg lift, flip over and really point that um, hip towards the ground. Here we go, arm up, chest up, head up, go. There's balance in this one too. There is balance, definitely, because you're stepping back, right? Yep, yep, down. Now, lucky us, we get another leg exercise after this. Oh, so Ooh, boy. Lucky. You guys are so lucky, I agree. <laughs> You're so lucky you found me at home. <laughs> well, once you start seeing the benefit. Exactly. Yeah. Which is pretty quick, I would say. If you stick with it. Time. All right, let's hold the dumbbell close to the chest. If you're getting tired, you can get rid of that dumbbell, too. Feet hip width apart. We've got a squat with a side leg lift. Let's give her a try. Squat down, come up, left leg, leave with the heel. Squat, other leg. So we're leading with the heel so we get more outer hip engagement. Be aware you're not turning the toe up. That's gonna get more hip flexor engagement, which are already pretty powerful muscles in the body anyways. Shoulder blades are pinched. We're not allowing those shoulders to round. And then just enjoy the move. <laughs> so we're just trying to track the knees down, like track the knees. Down. Like instead of you know how your knees wobble sometimes when you track down. When you squat down, you want the knees to track with the second toe. So second if you had toe. no shoes or socks on, your knees are going with that second toe. Time. So if you find they do wobble, maybe try those side leg lifts instead of the reverse lunge or watch the video I got down below. <laughs> Here we go, left arm, knee up, and lunge. Knee pain and knee tracking. 
unfortunately, is rampant with those of us over 40. So that's why I've got quite a few videos explaining why, what to sub in, or what, what muscles you should be strengthening to help avoid it. The little small muscles in the calves and the, the ankles are important too, right? Just yeah, your foot. You your together. foot all starts with the foot, doesn't it? Yeah. That's why if you were to do this with no runners, you'd be firing up even more muscles. Ta! Here we go, other arm. Find that center, find that balance, right knee up, ready, set, and go. Oh, look at that, we got more in before the timer. God, Woo! You owe us four now. <laughs> I'll give it to you next week. <laughs> Work out without shoes at home? Yeah. Sometimes I do. Depending on your workout, right? Yeah, if it's higher impact, you want shoes. Yeah. Woo, starting to feel that butt now. And that left leg. Done. Possibly even the shoulder. <laughs> All right, we've got the squat side leg lift. Feet shoulder width apart, chest lifted. Let's drop down. Here we go. Squat. Good. Lead with the heel. The weight for a moment. Yes. If you need to drop the weight to keep going, I'd rather you that than stop. The next one, I'll grab it. So this little routine does get the heart rate up, doesn't it? It does. That's why. Where are you sitting at? 128. Yeah, see, gets the heart rate up. Anna's fit. She's at 128. Done. All right, great news. Uh, so last round, left arm. Woo, get it up there. Focus your stay on something stationary. Left knee up and go. Sometimes the beeper sounds really quickly, and sometimes <laughs> it never comes. <laughs> it's like when you're traveling somewhere, right? Going there takes forever. Coming home is too quick. Unless you're on a plane. <laughs> Going there or home oh. takes forever. Those last 20 minutes before landing. Oh, they're the worst, aren't they? Never end. Unless you're watching a really good movie. Time. They had um, one of the seasons of Friends on the last plane that I took. So I just binge watched Friends all across the Atlantic Ocean. <laughs> <laughs> Forgot how good that show was. Here you go, right knee up and go. And a lot of vintage stuff too. Yeah. <laughs> The problem with Larry and I is we see a lot of movies. I love movies. I love stories. So when the last flight we took to Europe, I'd pretty much seen everything. Yeah, we're moveaholics too. We watch a lot. We went and saw Doctor Sleep on the weekend. Oh, how was Stephen it? King. Well, the book is one of my top ten books. Really? And they did pretty good. So Doctor it's, it's Sleep. Yeah, it's The Shining, the second. <gasps> oh. So. It's so the little boy, he's all grown up. Scary? No. Well, kind of. Thrilling. <laughs> kind of. Not really. Not like it. Time. All right. But read the book. The book's fantastic. Huh. All right. I'm a huge Stephen King fan. How about you at home? Ready? Squat. Go. We saw it as well, and Stephen King had a little bit part in it. Really? Yeah. He does his own little cameo? He does, but not a Stephen King. <laughs> He's an antiques dealer, but um, I think he's in his 70s and I'm really scared <laughs> that something might happen to him because I do love him. I've only read, well, I thought wasn't too scary. 
His earlier stuff was really scary. He's gotten, he's so good at writing kids. Was he Jurassic Park? No. No. That's Michael Crichton. Okay, at home, let's stretch out the quads, bring the heels to the bum. So, thank you for joining me. Before you take off, you gotta do a couple things for me. Number one, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. Number two, drop a comment, especially if you're a doctor, and let me know whether or not my husband is BSing about the prostate exam. <laughs> And then number three, you've got to head to my website. Seriously, I dropped a new website in the summer and I also dropped a fantastic free workout program. It's customized and it's just waiting for you. Other side. So there's your three things. Very easy. Very easy. And then if you haven't had a mammogram, go book one. PJ and Anna's PSA. <laughs> I gotta find my card now, I don't know where it is. You don't need the card. I know, but just, you know, it'll remind me. Oops. Okay. <laughs> All right, let's get into a low lunge. Left leg back, left hand under wrist. Now you can drop that back knee onto the ground if you'd like. Take that right arm, sweep it up, look up, and breathe. Now take that top arm, bring it behind the back, palm facing away from the body, bend at the elbow. Good. Where are we? Oh, I see. And look up. And Feet together, other leg. Here we go, step back, high lunge or low lunge, wrist under shoulders, push that back heel away, sweep up, look up. Ooh. Drop that back hand, facing away, then open up that shoulder some more. Step the feet together, forward fold, hold, stretch out the hamstrings. Soften the knees, roll it all the way up, and give yourself a high five at home. Hey, thank you for joining us. We appreciate it. Don't forget your three things you got to do before you take off. Have a great rest of your day, and we will see you next workout. Mwah! Woo! Another one. Done. Good. That was really good. Good job.